The State Department of Environmental Quality has notified Venture Global LNG it could be forced to pay penalties for violating its permit limits. Good evening, I'm Cynthia R. Snow. And I'm Jillian Corder. Local environmentalists say people need to know about the company's record since it began operating in Cameron Parish. KPLC's Teresa Schmidt reports. State DEQ has issued a 46-page document called a compliance order, which lists numerous alleged violations of permit requirements by Venture Global LNG since it opened a year and a half ago. The violations listed come from information reported by the company to the state. The company has been under constant scrutiny by environmentalists who say Venture Global cannot seem to get into compliance. John Allaire, retired environmental engineer who worked in oil and gas, lives near the LNG export facility in Cameron. You know, in the total days they're operating in 2022, there are uh, of the 343 days they didn't operate all year in 2022, they're out of compliance 286 days out of uh, in 2022. Allaire and others part of the news conference think it's important for the state to hit the company with a significant penalty. If you're looking at the um, Calcasieu facility, they're making tons of money. And, you know, a violation of, uh, certainly a violation of like several hundred thousand dollars, for example, coming out of this isn't going to be uh, even a mosquito bite in, a, against the kind of money they're making. In a letter to DEQ, Venture Global denies pollution violations increase profits or save them money. But the environmentalists don't buy it. They made more money uh, sell, per, per BTU sold than any other LNG exporter in the U.S. But, you know, the numbers that we're seeing are 150 to $200 million per shipment. Venture Global will submit comments responding to the state over the next month. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. To read through the compliance order and notice of potential penalty, we've got it linked over on our website.